all right you guys so i'm over here at the pond again uh finally we got done with the tasseling and um back at the pond for the early morning bite uh i've caught one fish on a little shaky head and that's it have not had a single hit on top water bait yet which is kind of odd considering how well i usually do on top water in this pond hope oh, there's a little bass right there by my feet I'm using this big Spro Frog, and I tell you what, man, it casts like a rocket. I'd like to get at least one blow up on this frog. I don't care if I catch it. It'd just be cool to see a blow up on it. Because uh, I think I would get a pretty big blow up on this frog. They're trying to kill that big frog. I think a three pounder would have a no problem eating this frog. I just think a little two pounder wouldn't be able to eat it really well. But I'm sure I'll catch a two pounder on it. But I don't. I don't really think that I will catch... Uh, a whole lot of small ones with it. It walks pretty good. Alrighty, so I no bites on the frog. Let's grab the shaky head and go to work. Hopefully. A little green pumpkin finesse worm on a little shaky head. Cast it out there and see what it'll do. There's quite a bit of grass on uh, the water, so won't have. Oh, there's a dang it, he let go. First cast with that shaky head, and I had a fish grab it. So maybe, just maybe, I know what the fish are biting. But I was going to fish a tube originally, uh, but I left my tubes at the truck. And the truck's about 300 yards away, so I'm not going to walk 300. I'm, I'm basically, I'd have to walk 600 yards just to get back here and fish with a tube. And by the time I get done walking that far, it'd just be a waste of time walking that far just to grab some tubes. I got a bunch of green pumpkin finesse worms, so maybe I won't need a tube. using a 15 pound spider wire braid with this uh, shaky head which is not exactly the ideal shaky head setup but it's what line I had and I just figured well I ain't really worried about the fish seeing my line in this water because it is pretty uh, muddy it's not exactly the clear uh, gin clear waters of Michigan. Hope was that fish? Nope, I don't think it was. There is definitely a few fish in this little pocket, so I might catch one. Oh, I think one's got it. Yep, there he is. He's not a big one, but he's running pretty good. Oh yeah. He's a little bit better than I thought he was. He swam up on the bank for me. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, buddy. Slow down there, buddy. You get getting fish gut fish slime in my eye. Stop it. You little booger. He's actually a lot better than I thought he was. Boy, I hooked him perfect, man. Oh, quit biting my finger. Mm. Dang it, I wish I had my pliers with me. There it is, I think. Yep. Oh, oh, dang it. See there, you guys? Nice little two-pound fish. Uh, he ain't a keeper, though. Uh, I can't really release him very better. I can't release him any better than that, so don't be hating on me in the comments because this right here is literally less than an inch of water right in here. He bit the green pumpkin zoom finesse worm. So, it's a pretty good fish, too. A lot better than the last fish I've had. Last fish I caught was like seven or eight inches. Now I just need to get one seven or eight pound. And I will be set. Oh, yeah, awesome cast. See that, you guys? That's how you cast and catch the giants right there. Make casts always, especially when your when your fish are about maybe 12 to 15 feet out in front of you. Always make sure to cast two feet in front of you, because that will just this little finesse worm will draw them big old fish right next to you in inches of water, and you'll catch the slaunches. Don't take that literally; it was a joke. He thumped that finesse worm too, so well, that's that was a really nice bite. And I hooked him perfectly too. Yep, I'm gonna have to get a new worm, I think. Nope, I know what I'm gonna do. And if you guys have ever been out and your the nose of your worm has messed up and you can't fish with it anymore, just turn the worm around. Oops, I dropped it. Turn the worm around where the tail, you hook it through the tail. You guys can't see it. See how that, see this is where I usually have it hooked. This is the head, but this is the tail. You rig it straight through there, just like you normally would a shaky head. Voila. You got a brand new worm that has not been fished with yet, basically. And you'll get a lot more action out of that big, beefy tail. You will have a lot of wobbling action in that worm. I've actually caught quite a few fish doing that. What was that fish? Nope. Would have been awesome if I had just caught a fish right there just like that show you guys a new tip on how to use a finesse worm and then catch a fish doing it that would be that would have made great content right there but nope fish have to make me look stupid let that shaky head fall and then start slowly working it back in oh there's a fish over there I think I'm going to make one more cast out in the deepest part of this area. And uh, if I don't get a bite or if I don't catch one on that cast, I'm going to walk around over there on the other side of that tree. Because I've actually caught quite a few fish over there by that tree before.
Let that shaky head fall back. I think a fish has got it. Nope, fish don't have it. I tell you what, that last fish that I just caught, I mean, I had him hooked perfectly. Perfectly hooked. Right in the top of the lip, right in the top of the mouth. Would have been a little bit better if he didn't have it as far down as he did because I was kind of worried about that. But I got the hook out, so all's good. And another little tip for you is make sure when you get ready to recast your lure after after you uh, pulled it really hard, make sure to cast it when it warms like that because it's it'll be it'll give that uh, fish a look at something different. That's different, all right. I'm just gonna have to get another worm, I think. But I will try to use this uh, backwards rigged worm and if I scream and kind of take a few steps back or something you'll know why because this area right in here is usually full of snakes and I don't mess with snakes I actually almost caught a, a snake on a on a, a little finesse worm one time in this area just a weightless one he came flying over there as fast as he could in that water and tried to grab it. And into the tree it goes. Oh, wait. Fish has got it. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. No way. I've never done that before. I mean, it ain't a giant fish, but it's still pretty cool. I cast it over limb. Oh, oh, oh. I cast it over limb. Let it just fall in the water, and a fish grabbed it. Look at that tiny little fish. I mean, he ain't even five inches long, I bet you. Toss him back in there. Heck, you could use that fish as live bait if you wanted to. Flare fish. Caught a flare fish. There's a lot of flare fish over in that other pond. Oh, man. Hit the limb. That's not what you want to do. We're on that uh, cast over the limb pattern, boys and girls. I don't know. Do any girls watch my videos? I do not know. I'm sure one does or two. Oh, I think I got a fish. Yep. He grabbed it, but he let go. Unless he's swimming towards me. And he is. And he let go. Shoot. I'm actually getting a lot more bites over here than I thought I would. I wonder what will happen if I rig it sideways. Oh, that might give it a really good presentation. This might actually work. I rigged it sideways. You know how a regular up towards the head I rigged it sideways the flat parts on one side and the little ribbed parts on the other side let's see if that's going to work I'd say it will because it looks pretty good from a distance it just looks like a regular finesse worm rigged on a shaky head so it might actually work oh fish has got it fish has got it and he let go did he nope there he is Oh boy, that's a nicer one than I thought it was. Did you guys see that jump? Oh, it came off. Darn nabbit. Man, did you guys see that jump? That was really cool. I honestly did not think he was that big, so I wasn't worried about losing him. Man, that was crazy. I'd say that's most likely the one that bit me on the last, on the cast before this one. And he got me all tangled up now. I might have to stop the video.